Hello, Ectosage here on the Say channel. It's Sleep Art Game and Eat brought that back because a lot of people requested it. And today, we're taking a look at these little fighters that I put together. And you might notice they all have a similar color scheme. That's because they're actually the same ship that I just continued to edit it. And I actually started with the ones on the right and started making alterations until I ended up with those. Now, I'm just going to actually show them in the same way. These two have a slightly different coloring pattern. Let me get rid of that. There we go. But they're actually the same exact ship on the inside, I was just fiddling with colors. Anyway, the ship is pretty simple. I decided I wanted to have a sort of vertical ship where you sit here in the cockpit and you fly it about with the weapons. Actually, if we uh, probably going to near our UI, aren't we? At the top and in the center for the missiles. So there we go. I actually have a bunch of targets over there that I'll be shooting at in a bit. But this ship can accelerate at a reasonable speed, but it is pretty slow. But I, I just like the idea of having the weapons at these two far points, but not on a horizontal plane, but on a vertical plane. I also like the idea of having these spikes shooting out of the back of the ship. But the actual ship itself ended up being very square. It basically looks like half of a rectangular box if you look at it like this. So it wasn't exactly the most ideal thing, and of course it looks a bit strange to have this sort of square thing in the middle with all the engines, even if it's got the missiles there. It's not the best looking thing ever. Also, not to mention, as you can see now, I'm drifting sideways, and that's because the ship doesn't have very good stopping uh, features, pardon. It, very good stopping features for when it's going sideways. And if I actually remove all the side here, it's going to get rid of those turrets too. You can see at the back we have our two large engines and a three small engines on either side. And if we were to continue to cut into the ship, you'll be able to see more. We got another set of two engines here to continue pushing us forward. And our stopping engines really are pretty much just those three right there and those three there. And of course, it's mirrored from side to side. Now, if we were to actually fly up here, though, I can continue to cut away at this ship. And we will see on the inside here, oh, let me fly up a bit, there we go that we have a, our engines to go up and down are actually shoved in here, a bunch of them. And then we actually have our reactors sort of just stuck willy-nilly into the ship's interior. It's very, very cramped in there. And then, of course, our gyroscopes are stuck right there in the center point. So it's all pretty much crammed in there, not much space. The weapons themselves up here are two Gatling guns on either side of this. And the missile launcher is stuck above and below the cockpit. The ship, I wasn't happy with it all, really. That's why I'm going over it really quickly. And and, of course, this up here is mirrored down there, by the way. Just thought I should say that. As well as, of course, the ship being mirrored left to right. Except for, of course, these reactors, because they're at the center point. Uh, there they go. Both those reactors and those two more at the bottom. Anyway, let me fly up and grab the second type of ship I built. Now, where was it? Uh, I think it was probably up there somewhere. Oh, there it is. Now, the second ship, which I've just flown into, because I was going to quickly, I started it out by basically taking this one, copying it, pasting it, and then I extended the back more. So I just sort of went, okay, well, let's go back. That didn't look too good, so I ended up just reworking and basically ended up redoing absolutely everything about it. So I got rid of all the wings as I slowly started working. I built this backwards more into this long spike here. I moved the cockpit forward a tiny bit. And basically, before you knew it, I was destroying most of the original ship, and I even, I believe, cut into it and got rid of most of the interior, oop, most of the original interior setup, and actually rebuilt a lot of it. There you go, I've just caused some damage there, and that is because the wall that I just removed had a bunch of gyroscopes stuck on it, so you can see I moved the gyroscopes from where they were, sort of behind the cockpit, and the little section there, mainly to the wall. I think there's a few gyros still up there, but you can see here, I had, actually there was an engine or two right here for more propulsion going backwards. So the whole ship, I wanted it to accelerate a lot faster. Also, not to mention, this ship is bigger, so it needed more propulsion to get it going forward faster. And of course, the cockpit is still here, so it's still basically a vertical design, but I had a much calmer shape, a much more gentle curve forward, and made these wing bits here a bit longer, and I have the guns now, one above the other right here. If we fly down here, you can see we still have missile launchers above and below, but now we have this nice little swoop here, so the front of it isn't just such a flat block, really. And if we fly around to the back, you can see we basically have our engines now stuck in this interesting little nozzle thing with the red around it, and the gray sort of engine area there to make it look actually like it's sort of an engine. Uh, along the bottoms here, nothing special. This is all mainly just for looks and to space the... Gatling guns out down there and up there, of course. Uh, it's the reactors. Let me remove this. By the way, these right here are actually the engines that face inwards. 
to allow it to move from left to right. So they were stuck, I believe, sort of like right there. And then we have these engines to allow it to go up and down. So we got basically eight, four there, four on the other side to go up, and the same down there to allow us to go down. And then we have two reactors stuck down here, and then two, of course, stuck up there. To go reverse, we have just one large engine here on this side and another one on the other side. And that's pretty much about it for a reverse engine. So this ship, its idea was, hey, we're going to accelerate quickly and we're going to worry about drifting left and right using these engines that were sort of stuck in here that wouldn't stick out and look so cheesy as those do. So like most of my ships, a lot of the engines were just inside and you wouldn't really see them. Of course, unless you decide to reverse, you see them a bit there. But... Idea again, but this ship was mainly just to be going forward, so I'm gonna hop in it really quick and take it for a very short spin. And this is actually the one I'm happiest with when it comes to vertical designs. The engines here firing again from above and below, or not engines, pardon the guns. And I actually like the way it looks when you're firing those two streams, even though it's a bit hard to aim those at something small, of course, because you're the way you're aiming in the middle of the screen, the weapons are, of course, firing to above and below you. So it's a bit finicky, but Overall, it's alright, and I, if you're aiming at a larger ship or even another fighter as you're trying to trace it around, I get the feeling your bullets are going to be hitting a lot of your targets and not missing so much. Also, of course, we have our missiles in the center point again, and those are much easier to aim, and I've just taken out my own cockpit. So there you go, that was that ship. I actually like that one the most out of the vertical design ones. But of course, I was looking at this ship, and I sort of thought, well, it looks pretty good if we were to rotate maybe like this. And now it sort of just looks like a normal fighter that way. So, how about let's go make it a normal fighter. Where is it? I've gotten lost again. So I first started out with, okay, well if it's going to be a normal fighter, we can't have the cockpit back here anymore, so I moved to the front of the ship. I decided to put the Gatling guns right in the center here, so it's easier to aim them. A lot easier. And you see a whole lot of bullets there. That's because I also decided that, hey, you know what would be nice? Maybe, uh... Sticking the Gatling guns up there as well, that way you have some more weapons fire. So now all the weapons are more to the center, which means they're all a lot easier to aim. And I decided to put the missile launchers out to the side, which is probably more standard for most actual modern day ships. Of course, this ship still has mostly forward propulsion. The engines are on the inside, and pretty much everything on the inside of this ship is exactly the same as the last one I just showed. Except for now, I stuck these little engines here mainly for looks, and I have these here. Of course... One of the issues that with all these ships is, of course, when you turn, they don't want to stop going in whatever direction they were going. So we're going to get in here. We're just going to take another sweep at all this. And, of course, because we have aim right in the middle now, we can more easily hit these where we should be able to. And, of course, we have these bigger stream of bullets we're able to fire out. And this is one of my favorite ships. And there we go. That was a hit. But, of course, again, when we turn... We're not able to slow up too easily unless we get ourselves turned around and the engines stop. And of course, some funky thing in Space Engineers currently is when you're pressing W, you're not able to put as much output out of those engines to go forward as they are when they automatically, if you were to turn it around, and now those engines are able to fire more energy out of them than just pressing W. Because the automated inertial dampener system in the ships somehow overpowers the base output of engines and makes them even more powerful, which is a bit annoying and means if you're trying to manually fly, you're going to be in a bit of a world of hurt. Anyway, I like this ship gun setup, but I was a little bit unhappy with the overall... Oh, not again. I did it again. Gotta be careful of that if you miss those mines. Anyway, I was a little bit unhappy with it. That's why I'm not too unhappy that I just blew it up. I had put these little things in here to make it look a bit better. I had, I think, maybe bulked out these engine things slightly, and, of course, I did all this on the engine here. We're putting, instead of having the cockpit there, of course, I bumped these out and stuck the engines there and stuck their little wings. But overall, I don't know, I was feeling too much like it still just looked like the other ship, but modified. So, I went over and copied it and began working on this mod, which, again, I've just flown into. Where I took the guns, they're still there, I definitely bumped this out, I think about it. But I removed the small engine there, I put three in there, and I bumped this whole thing out that actually looked like it had some serious engines. On the inside, most of the engines and setup are the same. I believe I moved a few things around in there, but nothing too special, nothing worth showing. But then I stuck these engines here for a little extra boost, and because it looks far more like a proper forward thruster system, it fits more with the fact that this forks like this, and suddenly it looks like, okay, it forks because it's going into two engines. Got the little ones there I just pointed out. Our Gatlings, I think I might have moved those a tiny bit, but not really. They're nice and snug in there, though. And here's our cockpit again. And so now this one... 
it's the best feeling to fly. It's the guns, again, are the six fires, but they're very, very nice to open fire with. And if I can hit these, okay, we're gonna... Ooh, that was close. I th we, yep, one of them hit us and took out a missile launcher, but nothing else really. So we can turn ourselves around. This one, I think I even maybe stuck a few more gyros in, so it can turn nice and quick. And this is my favorite one. By far, this is my favorite one. Even though I had originally started building these with the idea of, hey, I'm going to make vertical ships, I ended up with these horizontal ones that I actually like a whole lot. And by the way, at the end there, where there used to be Gatling guns on the edges of what are now wings, I put little rockets in there because they looked nice. So this is my favorite. This is the one that I would be using if I ever needed to have a little fighter. It handles reasonably well. Its stopping speed going sideways is still relatively slow, but it's not too bad, actually. And, yeah, it's just my favorite. Anyway, thanks a bunch for watching. These should be up on the Steam Workshop if you want to download them pretty dang soon, if not up there already. And um, I'll see you guys next time.